Hello, I'm Lara Croft for KW Bonsai. Today we are going to be working on the Kapok seedlings that were planted just over seven months ago. I noticed that the soil in the pot wasn't drying out very quickly, and the trees weren't looking too good lately. I suspect the roots have filled the drainage holes and are preventing the water from draining through. In this video, I'll be repotting the trees into individual pots and giving each seedling its first root prune. So here we go. I also noticed some scale insects on the leaves and the trunk. Here is a close up of them. I'm going to remove all the affected leaves. This will remove most of the insects. The others will have to be brushed off with soap and water using a toothbrush. I have now removed all the insects from the trees and have given them a spray with 40 parts water to one part dish soap. As a final step, I have sprayed them with rainwater to remove the soap from the trees. I am going to remove the trees from the pot and place them in a container of water until I begin to root prune them. I'll begin by raking around the base of the trees. After that, it's a matter of pulling and untangling the roots to separate the trees. Here are the roots from the first tree I removed. The tree had a thick tap root which broke off during removal. All of this tap root will be removed so it won't be a problem. I'll continue separating all the trees and when this is done, I'll be back to show you the roots that need to be pruned. Here are the 22 seedlings in order from smallest to tallest. It will be nice to have a variety of different height trees to work with in the future. As I root prune each tree, I'll place it in the water bowl behind me to keep the roots wet. I'll begin the root pruning. In most cases, there is a large single tap root that needs to be removed. I'm not worried about cutting off too much root because of the cuttings. The cuttings all rooted easily in water. These newly root pruned trees should also root nicely in their new pots. Let's start root pruning now. I'll begin by removing the tap root close to the base of the tree. The radial surface roots will need to be trimmed also to balance the vigor in them so they all grow at an equal rate as the root base develops. The aim is to get a flat radial root base on the bottom of the root mass. This will give the tree a nice root flare that will be exposed above the soil someday. I'll show you the pruning of the next tree's roots. It also has a tap root that needs to be removed. The radial surface roots are already in balance and don't need trimming. The third tree also needs its tap root removed, so the radial surface roots will develop. I am balancing these surface roots in this operation. Here are the 22 Kapok trees with their roots pruned. I am now ready to plant them. It may have to wait until tomorrow as it is beginning to get dark. While I wait for morning, I'll show you some inspirational photos that JP sent me. These are the first bonsai Kapok trees I have seen that have a really nice root base to them. Not only does the tree have nice roots, but the trunk and the branches are well developed also. Thank you JP, I hope my seedlings will grow to be as nice as yours. Hello everyone, welcome to day two. I've been doing a little work on my giant ficus bonsai tree. But we had better continue with potting the kapok tree seedlings. I'll be using these kapok trees to grow some over the temple I am building and some to grow into large bonsai trees like the one in the middle of Cape Town in Sierra Leone. I'm going to start by planting the largest trees in this nursery pot. I'll add a drainage layer of gravel in the bottom so I don't use too much bonsai soil. I filled the soil to the height that I want the bottom of the roots to sit on. I'm watering the first layer of the soil before I place the trees in the pot. This will help keep the roots moist 
during planting. I'll have to plant several trees in the same pot so I don't run out of space to place them in the plant room. I'm careful to rake out the surface roots before placing some soil on top to hold the tree in place. These small roots will be large surface roots someday. I have planted six of the largest seedlings so far and it is time to top up and level the soil. A regular spoon is the best tool I have found for the leveling operation. Next, I'll water the trees thoroughly. Over the next few weeks, it is important to not let the roots dry out. The leaves will need misting regularly until the roots start to grow. The trees need to be kept warm and in good light. This will be a critical time for the trees as they start the path to becoming bonsai. I'll be potting the rest of the trees in the same manner. This is a good time to pot up the seedlings. They will be established in the pot and ready to go outside in spring. They will get the whole summer to grow and they should be quite large as fall approaches. It will be very exciting to see them get the thorns on the trunk. But first, I must get them to live through this operation. I hope you enjoyed this update on the Kapok trees. I'm Lara Croft for KW Bonsai. Do something green today. Let some of your plants in your vegetable garden go to seed. You will have a nice selection of good seeds to plant each year that you know will grow well in your area. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in a future video update.